The answer is yes, we do make antimatter at CERN. Not far from here, we send a proton beam onto a metal block, which is called a target. And when energy is transformed into mass, we produce matter and antimatter, and in particular, antiprotons. And these antiprotons, they circulate in this machine, a complex machine called antiproton decelerator. And in this machine, we can then slow these antiprotons down, trap them into a trap, and make them recombine with positrons to form antihydrogen atoms. The propulsion system is really an amazing setup. Uh, there's two parts, there's gravity amplifiers uh, and the reactor that provides the power. The reactor itself is a, a total annihilation reactor uh, fueled by antimatter. Total annihilation is essentially the most efficient uh, nuclear reaction that takes place of the three, fission, fusion, and uh, annihilation. It uses a super heavy element, element 115, uh, as it would appear on the periodic chart. None has yet been synthesized on Earth. Um, it's my opinion that this occurs naturally in, in certain star systems. This element is bombarded in a, an extremely small accelerator. Uh, the element under bombardment uh, undergoes spontaneous fission and produces uh, antimatter particles. These are interacted with a gaseous matter target and by means of a 100 percent efficient uh, thermoelectric device is converted uh, into electricity. Now a hundred percent efficient uh, any electric device is essentially impossible. Uh, you know the first law of thermodynamics says that's basically impossible. There has to be waste heat and things of that sort, but there's none detected in, in this system. It's uh, another amazing form of technology. Uh, this uh, tremendous amount of power the system generates uh, operates the amplifiers and also as a byproduct of the 115 undergoing uh, uh, this bombardment, it produces uh, a very interesting phenomena, a gravity A wave as it's known to be called. Uh, this gravity A wave is, uh, it travels in um, almost the same way microwaves travel. Uh, this is essentially applied to the gravity amplifiers and by means of the electric current also provided by the reactor is amplified and focused uh, the amplified signal is shift, shifted slightly out of phase and, and by virtue of that they can repel or attract uh, 